so let's determine the derivative. So I'm just gonna like put a little note up here that this is x to the half and a little note up here that this is x to the minus one so that we can use the power rule efficiently to take the derivative. So let's see, if we bring the half down, that's gonna turn that into an eighth and then we're gonna have x to the minus half. Half minus one is minus half. And then we're gonna bring the minus one down and we'll have x to the minus two. So since we wanna find out where this is increasing and decreasing, well, we need to find out where it's zero because where it's zero is the only place that it can change from being positive to negative and thus the function can change from being increasing to decreasing. That's like a little bit of a lie. It's where it's zero or it does not exist. But the only place this would not exist is at x equals zero, which is like, already outside of the domain. But if we look at the derivative in this form, what you'll see is that it's got all of these things that are not really well suited for calculation, right? So it's got rational exponents and it's got signed exponents instead of roots and denominators, which is easier to do arithmetic with. So we probably wanna write it back in the other form. 